he took his brother by the heel in the womb, and in his strength he struggled with Elohim. This is very important, and let me find another verse for here. In Psalm 41, this is a psalm that prophesies of Mashiach and how he would be betrayed by someone very close to him. And I'm just going to read a couple of verses. Verse 9 says, Even my own familiar friend in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. So that verse is taken as a prophecy of the fact that Judas or Yehuda would betray Mashiach and sell him. Even my own familiar friend in whom I trusted, who ate my bread. Remember that when Yahuhanan or John asked Mashiach who the one uh, who was the one who would betray him, Yahushua told him that he would grab a piece of bread and give it to him. And therefore Yehuda, when he took the bread and ate from it, was fulfilling this part, who ate my bread. But all of this has to do with Yaakov himself. And this is very important. For uh, We can see it in a way like in a mirror, which is um, the other way around. Because in Hebrew, this verse says, Also the man of my shalom, of my peace, as a brother is supposed to be that and Esav the brother of Yaakov hated ya Yaakov for what he had done when he bought the um, the right as the firstborn from Esav he did it with some food and a piece of bread that he added to the, the, the red potage or soup that he gave him so he added a piece of bread when he bought the the right to the firstborn's firstborn son, when Asaph ate from his bread, he was selling that right. And then Jacob got dressed as Asaph and took the blessing, which was his because he had um, previously bought that right for the blessing as the firstborn. And all of that is a very interesting story. As I said previously, Yahushua is represented by Yitzhak. And here we're talking about Yaakov, who represents the last. So this verse is connected to both, because it's uh, first and last. Because as I always explain, that which the first fulfills literally, the last will fulfill spiritually. And vice versa. It says, even my own familiar friend in whom I trusted. In Hebrew, it says, yeah, in whom I trusted. Asher Batachti, who ate uh, bread, my bread, then he says, um, he, uh, he did alive a cave. He lifted up, is how they translate it, but could be said, um, raised up, or even got, because it comes from Gadol, which is great. So he became great, or wanted to be greater than his brother. And therefore betrayed him and they say lifted lifted up his heel against me which is pretty much the literal the, the literal translation of what it's saying because a cave is heel and remember that Yaakov was called Yaakov because he grabbed the heel of his brother when he was coming out of uh, the womb well uh, out of his mother on birth so here we see something that is seems that it seems to be talking about that moment because Yaakov got the name Yaakov because he grabbed the heel of his brother and that was a prophetical sign that he would replace his brother in everything as the firstborn but when we read here it seems to show us that Yaakov was the one who had the right for the first for the one to be born first because when they were in the womb his brother lifted up his heel on top of his head to come out first so it would have been Asaph who 
replace Yaakov in the womb so that he would come first. So that's why he lifted up his heel on the head of his brother Yaakov. And that would be the reason why Yaakov uh, grabbed it. Because his brother Asa was putting his heel on his head to come out first. And that was a betrayal from his own brother in the womb which would then fulfill as a prophecy with Mashiach who was betrayed by one of his disciples whom he called brothers it says who ate my bread has lifted up his heel against me I repeat and it's also said, said it in past as Jacob saying has lifted up his heel against me Asaph he who ate my bread when I saw uh, when I bought the birthright even my own familiar friend in whom I trusted, as in brother. And familiar friend is actually from the words, uh, the men of my peace, of my shalom. So going back to Hosea, look how it connects with the verse that we were reading. It says, he took his brother by the heel in the womb. So we just read in Psalm how a betray, well, Judas, or in this case Asaph, put his heel on the head of his brother to come out first and now we are seeing from the perspective of Jacob he took his brother by the heel in the womb in this case Yahweh is mentioning it through the prophet to show how he had that nature of um, wanting to replace his brother because he did so many times as we see in his life and therefore if the people the, the children of israel were not obedient to yahweh they would end up taking that nature and using it in a negative way instead of replacing bad for good they would start replacing that which is good with the bad and that is why the enemy has used the people who claim to believe in the most high to change the name of the father for the name of the enemy the name of the son for the name of the lie the titles that are um, used to mention the honor of the almighty and his son changing them for titles that have to do with the enemy that's why it says he took his brother by the heel in the womb and in his strength he struggled with Elohim so here it shows two things what I just said that in the negative sense this could be very bad because they would actually dare to struggle with the Almighty. They would dare to reject the Almighty um, and complain to the Almighty for the way he acts, how he does things, having themselves no right to do so of course. But since they come from Yaakov who fought Elohim according to Genesis 32 and he won because he was fighting an angel who represented the Elohim of this world, the God of this world, representing how the last, who is represented by Yaakov, would come in the end times, be killed, resurrected, and then fight with Lucifer and take him out of heaven, throwing him into the earth. I mean, this reality, not uh, below the earth, that would be afterwards, but I mean, in the earth, when he falls from heaven in Revelation 12 so that is the negative part of it that they tend tend to replace because they come from Yaakov who replaced his brother so they re in the bad sense of it they replace the names they claim to have replaced the people uh, chosen by Yahweh um, replacement doctrine or replacement theory or something like that is how they call it um, and that is because they're children of Jacob, and what they don't do, what Yahweh tells them, they end up replacing that which is good with the bad, instead of doing it the other way around. And the other part, and his strength, he struggled with Elohim. They even go to the extent of complaining and rejecting the Almighty. Now, in the positive sense of all of this, is the fact that he is spiritually violent. In the sense that the kingdom of Yahweh, only the violent can take it, as it is written that since the days of Yahu Hanan, the kingdom of Yahweh suffers violence and only the violent take it, spiritually, that is. And that is what Yaakov represents, someone who didn't 
take it from his brother when he betrayed him. Instead, he grabbed his heel, as in saying what would come afterwards, meaning he would take the birthright and he would buy, uh, well, buy it and then take the blessing from his father and many other things that happened. But also he fought with Elohim, showing how the last would come and fight with the Elohim of this world and defeat him. Something that most people don't want to do because they believe, sadly, that the Elohim, creator of all things, is actually the Elohim of this world. And that may be confusing or not understood as well. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that most Christians, if not all, know the verse that it sa that says that Satan is the god of this world. Most Christians know that verse. Satan is the god of this world. But they don't actually comprehend it, what it really means. Because they are part of a church that is part of the world. They are part of a doctrine that the world accepts, that is all around the world, everywhere. So they don't realize that the one they are following is actually the god of this world. And that is my point. They read the verse, but they don't understand what it really says. They think that it just means um, the the entity who makes people go and party, the entity who makes people go and drink, and and the entity who wants people, I don't know, killing each other and stuff like that. Obviously, that's Satan. But there are three Satans, as I have explained previously. And the one in the middle, which is Halel, Lucifer, that is the one who tries to act, as would they would say, holy. That's why he comes from the sun, as the god, um, the god of the sun, or the angel that is represented by the sun, which comes down every afternoon, representing how Lucifer will fall at the end of history. The fact that Jacob fought Elohim is to show that the last would have to come and fight the god that everybody worships in the world or gods because there are different religions but mainly the one that everybody calls god so he took his brother by the heel in the womb and in the strength he struggled with elohim and and also by the way the fact that it says that he fought with elohim and this is very interesting because he says sarah sarah et elohim when it says struggle with elohim sarah et elohim Sara, as in the name of the matriarch, which means, in the sense of her, a noble woman, or being a princess, in this case, a prince, but the way it's being used is as a verse in which him as a prince fought Elohim and won. Sara has a, as a root Sar, which would be a prince, a malach, as Michael is called in Daniel. In the book of Daniel, Michael is called a Sar. So we see here um, how Jacob represents Michael, who would appear in the earth as the last. And not only that, also um, he uses that Sara because that is the root of Israel, the prince of Elohim, or he who struggled with Elohim. And the fact that it says Elohim and not just El, Elohim means plural is plural mighty ones therefore as i was saying the last comes and fights the god of this world who acts through all the gods that people worship in different religions he took his brother by the heel in the womb and in his strength he struggled with elohim 